When we talk about area, a rectangle doesn't really have an area. What we're talking about is the region bound by the rectangle. So this rectangle doesn't really have an area, but this region that is formed by the sides of the rectangle has an area. If we go back to grade school, and I asked you, what was the area of this rectangle? You'd say, Mr. McCall, area is equal to length times width. Well, now that we're in geometry, we're going to use different language. Instead of length and width, we're going to use base times height. So forget about length times width, and we're going to use the base and the height. So the area of a rectangle is going to be your base length times its height. But how does that apply for a parallelogram that's not a rectangle? Well, what we could do is if I had a scissors strong enough to cut through this whiteboard, I would cut off this triangle right here, and I would translate it in that direction, and I would paste it back on right on that end. So what I've created here is a rectangle out of my parallelogram. So right here we would have that little triangle that I cut off of that end. Notice that we've created something that we know the area of, a, rect a rectangle. So we can say the area of any parallelogram will be equal to its base times its corresponding height. Now that's a little tricky, is what do I mean by corresponding height? Well, let's say I determined that this right here was the base of my parallelogram. So I'm just assuming that we have two pairs of parallel sides here. If this is my base, the corresponding height is a perpendicular segment that connects its opposite base. So this right here could be a height because it starts at its parallel base and it's perpendicular to B. You could also have a height that is outside of your parallelogram. Let's say, okay, taking the exact same figure, if I said that this right here was my base, then what would I need to know in order to calculate the area? Well, here, my corresponding height would still be a perpendicular segment, which could be inside my, my parallelogram, or if I extended this side, it would look something like this. So remember, area equals base times height, where your height is a perpendicular segment to your base. So that's what you have to know in order to calculate the area of any parallelogram. So this applies to rectangles, parallelograms, rhombuses, and squares.